Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Forcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I was tempted for a minute, but in the end I figured they didn't deserve to die. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Salarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. The Collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out, no signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas, drug point. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. Commander, we just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. A friendly game sounds good. Sure does, but Kenneth takes the game a bit too seriously. I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now, what do you think? The Collectors destroyed our ship and killed our crew. They're gonna pay. Then I have a feeling their days are numbered. You don't have many enemies. Live ones, that is. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me.
How can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Commander, can I help you with something? How we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? We don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the saying? A good deed's like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? My ship, my time. I just want to talk. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What was your proudest career moment? Uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Led you to Cerberus. The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Get the focus test right. Perfect example of humanity, and they still dumped you. Way to boil it down, Jacob. I hope you keep a better attitude about our current mission. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. And I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. 
As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. And welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2. I, I'm your host, Madam Madigan. And we're going to do Archangel. In the early 2160s, the Alliance began living beyond the Omega-4 mass relay in the Terminus systems. The mysterious collector species is glimpsed so rarely as to be taken for a myth by most in galactic society. In reality, collectors are human-sized insectoid bipeds and can resemble massive winged beetles. They are a terrifying force in the galaxy, responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands. Collectors generate permanent stasis fields around themselves, creating nightmarish red-shifted energy fields. In battle, they hold position whenever possible, relying on their aggressive biotics and nearly limitless power. Several types of bipedal collectors have been identified, including minions, defenders, zealots, assassins, and artillery operators. Acting together, collectors have imprisoned entire cities in stasis, while no definite forensic accounting exists to explain the fate of those imprisoned, 
Leading speculation is that victims are harvested for scientific experimentation and neurobiological repurposing. Valerians, biology. Valerians are noted for their high speed metabolism. Valerians are noted for their high speed metabolism, which allows them to function on just one hour of sleep a day. Their minds and bodies work faster than most sapient races, making them seem restless or hyperactive. The drawback of this active metabolism is a short lifespan of around 40 human years. The Solarians are amphibian haplodiploid egg layers. Unfertilized eggs produce males and fertilized eggs produce females. Once a year, a Solarian female will lay a clutch of dozens of eggs. Societal rules prevent all from a, all but a fraction from being fertilized. As a result, 90% of the species is, is male. Solarians have photographic memories and rarely forget a fact. They also possess a form of psychological imp imprinting, tending to defer to those they knew in their youth. Solarian hatching is a solemn ritual in which the clan Dolatros isolates herself with the eggs. The young Solarian psychologically imprint on her and tend to defer to her wishes. During the hatching of daughters, the Dalatros of the mother and father's clan are present at the imprinting. This ensures the offspring have equal loyalty to both ensuring the desired dynastic and political unity. Let's do overload one. And now let's do Archangel.
Warden and Zaid. Freezes your target. regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Let's go to Afterlife. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Who, me? Nah. I was on a mission. I did you a favor. I was on a mission. Nothing was going to get in my way. I was down there on a mission. The Vorcha were just in the way. Remind me not to get in your way. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. So what do you do here? What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. Well, what are the Vorcha up to? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Okay, bye. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Let's go. Ready when you are. Get in. time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Not really, I know. Yeah, I know enough. Just tell us where to go. Archangels hold up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. 
He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. Sounds good. Now that I'm here, you will. Sounds good to me. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. Well, what do you know about Archangel? What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. The infiltration team? Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. They got across the bridge? How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. About the bridge. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. Gunship? They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. I better go find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. I like your attitude. One thing at a time, move out. Yeah, Zaid, one thing at a time. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Talk to Sergeant Kafka at the third barricade. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. Do you need something? Who are you? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? What's our plan of attack? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Like cowards to me. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. An eclipse is what? Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. 
Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. You seem pretty upset about it. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. Tell me about Archangel. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Tell me about Archangel. Tell me about Archangel. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. Spoken to Garm, and he and his men are. I mean, this operation is successful. We can count on high morale, an extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses that we've already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on to the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations. We'll be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. Jara. Deliver the data pad to Arya. Targeting parameters reconfigured. That should slow them down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. And who are you? You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. So what's our plan of attack? When do the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse and their mechs. We'll see. What about the Blood Pack? 
acquire the blood pack on Omega. We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. Especially Archangel. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one on one. Tell me what you know about Archangel? What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Really? Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. I can use this. Cool stuff. What do you want, freelancer? Excuses? How Kath gonna get that gunship working? Our heel, get this freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. Calm down. What? Yeah, you need to calm down. I just have a few questions about the operation. Gent, get this scum out of my face. Tarek, what's seen in your ass? Zaid. You know him? This should be good. You know him? I take it you two are acquainted? We've crossed paths a few times. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? It's Archangel. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost dead already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? What's the plan of attack? What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. So he just waits? What if Archangel survives all the attacks, and you sons are on your own? That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. 
He's already been in there over a day. What do you know about the Blue Sun? I mean, you are part of the Blue Blue Suns. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Sounds personal. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, lady. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. We'll talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. Good luck. Watch out. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. I'm here now. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Yeah, let's go over the plan of attack yeah, again. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Infiltration team. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. What about the gunship? Are you going to give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. And a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Are you a mechanic? Are you a mechanic? Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. And the bridge? So the bridge is the only way in. Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you coming? Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Oh. 
Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. <laughs> that was awesome! Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on. We'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Enemies in front. Gotta get to Archangel. I wonder what they're going to be like, Arcane. I hope they're good. Archangel? Good to see you. Is that you? Man, it's good to see you. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. You know you shot me, right? You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. And why... why are you on Omega? What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. In the Mercs? How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. Must really hate me. Same old Garrus. So why are you going by the name Ar Archangel? Archangel. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. So now what, Gareth? Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. 
but it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. What happened to you? How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. They won't get through. It'll do. Let's kick ass. Yeah, let's kick ass. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything. Help Garrus defend his position. Moving to cover! Oh. 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 
want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Sending out the heavy mechs. That problem should take care of itself. Snipe that one! Moving to cover! Ah. Eclipse mercs have made it into the base. Clips marks, rear stairs. Problem should take care of itself. I love this one. Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. What's our plan? We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. Problematic. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. I'm not leaving you alone. You need... I'm not leaving you alone. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? 
Warden will stay, Zaid. Zaid will stay. Zaid will stay. Zaid, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. Which way? How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. This should come in handy. Incineration tech. <clears throat> Bye. 
do the trick. Thought I was harmless, did you? Taking some fire, Shepard. Time to get those damn shutters open. Get that shutter closed. Deal with Archangel.
gotta get going. <laughs> seen worse. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You knew him? You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. Still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortune showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. We go. Let's go. Should we go? Blue sons are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Derek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. It. Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. I fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that.
Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. He has to make it. Distracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will impair his ability to assist in the missing. Regardless, revelation of identity is Garrus Vakarian, useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? No worse than usual, buddy. It's gonna show. No worse than usual, buddy. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus, Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? You've got my back. We don't have to trust them. Cerberus is right this time. We don't have to trust them, Garrett. Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need their resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. And that's all the time we have. If you like this video, hit that button down below. And give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Become part of Madame Madigan's theater troupe today. Bye.